first thing I want to uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Michal Konečný. Uh, I'm a mage in the CP team and I'm taking care of the magic land of the release monitoring.org. Uh, I must apologize for the wizard hat. I usually have it, but right now I have some issues with it, so uh, I apologize. Okay, so here you can see how the word of the releasemonitoring.org looks. Uh, I'm usually uh, looking for uh, for everything from the highest tower in the castle. There is uh, a part of it is also, also island of the new hotness, which is not seen of this, on this uh, image, but yeah, it is there. So you can see it's pretty nice world. And here it's some basic sorcery. So Everybody is uh, kind of uh, uh, knows who what releasemonitoring.org is. It's actually have two parts. The one part is Anitya. The Anitya is most of the is the magic realm you actually saw. Uh, it uh, is uh, taking uh, it is uh, taking care of checking for the new versions of projects. It allows users to add projects they they want to add. It's uh, it sends federal messages where there are new versions. Uh, it is more uh, it is similar to services that are uh, looking for the new versions of uh, the uh, of uh, projects, but. Uh, in the, this case, it allows users to specify their customs projects. They could uh, use their, uh, they could add almost everything that has some project page and there is uh, anything you could, any page you could check for a new version. The second part is the island of the new hotness, which is only used in the Fedora itself. Uh, the f it is Fedora messaging consumer that is uh, listening to the messages emitted by Anitya. And if you ever, as a packager, uh, get notification about the uh, race monitoring, find new version, it was created by the new hotness. Uh, it also can uh, stretch, uh, start a scratch builds if uh, you would configure this for your package. Okay, so let's go. So first we will uh, talk about the Anita. This is a realm of magic that is really nice and uh, fun. And as uh, every other wizard mage, I like the numbers. So here we have some statistics from the last vlog. I tried to find everything uh, that I could, that could be considered interesting. Uh, from the last vlog, uh, we had four releases of Anitya. Most of them are only minor version. There, uh, there is minor release uh, on the way right now. We had uh, 117 commits from seven different contributors. Thanks to everyone who helped with it. Uh, we had 68 new issues and closed 75 which is nice because we are uh, actually keeping with the pace and uh, closing the issues uh, quickly. There are still uh, around 100 issues open on the, uh, on the Anitya right now. The current version is uh, 0.18.0, uh, which is uh, the latest one and there are some issues that need to be addressed, but they will be addressed in the next next release. Um, there are a number of projects uh, watched by the release and monitoring are currently 100,000, 110,447. 
we have uh, 17,607 uh, of those projects mapped to Fedora packages. So uh, this is uh, really nice. There are plenty of projects uh, created by some automation that was added that is actually listening to library, uh, libraries I.O. Uh, which is uh, and uh, trying to catch the PyPy and RubyGem projects and creating the new, uh, new uh, projects for them automatically. Okay, and now we have, now we have uh, new features. What goblins delivered? We have plenty of goblins that were working, as you can see, as you could see in the last slide. There was seven people that was working on this. So pretty nice. And what we add, there is support for multiple version prefixes. If you ever had issue with, uh, with uh, uh, having the versions that had uh, different prefixes and you could only remove one, which is only removed uh, from the uh, from the Anitya page, the prefix is still there. Uh, we now have support for multiple versions, multiple prefixes, so you could uh, uh, you could actually remove the prefixes from every version you need. Uh, the next one is uh, the checking for new versions, uh, only if there is any change on the URL. Uh, we used uh, that if, uh, uh, if it's modified or the header is something similar, I'm not sure right now, uh, which is uh, asking the page if it was modified from the last time we visited it. If not, we will actually not uh, uh, get it, not get the full page and uh, not uh, parse it, just do, the, do this. Uh, allow fetching releases. Uh, before we only released the tags, and the tags sometimes uh, contained uh, bogus versions or just uh, some things that people wanted to tag and not uh, actual releases. So we added this option to fetch the releases. It's still fetching the tag that is, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, for the release, but uh, it's using the releases, uh, GitHub releases page for uh, checking this. Uh, we add the cal calendar and semantic versioning um, because the versions are not uh, uh, not sorted by uh, the order we get it, but uh, they are sorted by the Anitya itself. Uh, so now you can choose by RPM versioning, semantic versioning, and calendar versioning. All of these are working and uh, there shouldn't be any issue. But uh, there is issue with the projects that are changing the versioning uh, in the lifetime. But this is something that is hard to address and uh, not uh, really solved for some projects. Uh, next one. Uh, next one is uh, there is automation for deleting projects that didn't have any versions. And there is error threshold that if they reach this error threshold, which means that uh, we had, uh, uh, we had we checking for the new versions. And if those versions, uh, if we can get those new versions, it means that the uh, page is not available, the projects is uh, actually abandoned uh, and there is no page for it, or uh, there was some other error and there are 100 errors in a row, we delete the projects. But uh, there was, uh, there is one bug that is known that for the GitHub, uh, if there is uh, no new release, it's uh, considered as failed check, which is uh, bad. And uh, because of this, this uh, feature is, n is now disabled for the, uh, on the, uh, release monitoring.org. It will be introduced again with the next release, which is fixing the, this issue. Um, this, uh, I started uh, to, uh, I started with this because uh, there was 
plenty of uh, bogus projects with uh, from libraries io that was created on pypy but uh, was only for testing or something like this there was no version on it and, uh, the project didn't even existed for uh, after a few minutes so uh, this was why i introduced this it uh, deleted plenty of projects uh, that uh, were failure but uh, some of the people actually found that they it is deleting their project that were uh, configured uh, correctly and it was because the github uh, github issue okay uh, the next one is the one that introduced the issue with the github uh, we are trying to store and use the latest known version cursor so if we are checking for the new version we don't uh, retrieve the, all the tags that are on the projects but we are uh, we are only uh, trying to get the news new ones that are were newer which is uh, considered uh, by the cursor which is on every tag and this uh, this tag uh, is uh, this cursor is used to only retrieve new tags or new releases after this. So it's uh, actually helping us with the rate limit uh, on the GitHub. But it, uh, it actually uh, introduced the error with uh, the GitHub failing when not receiving any version, because uh, in the past it was considered uh, as uh, uh, as uh, fail when we didn't retrieve any version it uh, meant that we couldn't contact the project the issue uh, but uh, yeah it's happened and the last is the timeout option for check uh, check services so uh, we don't get stuck with uh, when checking for new uh, okay so right now uh, we are working on the milestone 1.0. Oh, okay. At the GitHub thing. Uh, oh, okay. I will get there for the last thing. Um, uh, okay. Um, so the, there is a timeout uh, option for the check service, which... Uh, is helping with uh, the check service being stuck stacked it was uh, we had some issue with this before and i started to uh, actually address this and timeout is uh, helping uh, okay so the current situation we are working on the 1.0 uh, milestone we uh, have few things done there are few that are left uh, what is done is option to archive projects so if you now have projects that is currently not being uh, uh, maintained upstream or there is another auto issue, uh, some other issue you could uh, you could actually tick it as archive if you archive it it means that it's not editable it will not be checked for new version but it's still in the Fedora uh, interreleasemonitoring.org and you still can look at it. So it will not be deleted from uh, Anitya, but it will be it will not be checked for a new version. This will help uh, with the projects that are currently checked and failing because uh, the upstream is no longer no longer exist or uh, we can't actually uh, parse the versions because uh, there is um, some other issue. Um, our removing more version at once. If you were administrator of uh, Anitya and somebody wanted to remove some version, they obtained it uh, by error or just tried uh, tried something. Uh, you need to delete them one by one, uh, which is no longer uh, a thing. You could uh, now remove all of them and uh, just uh, do a new check and uh, got only the uh, correct ones. Uh, the and, uh, other thing is to separate stable and unstable releases because uh, 
Till now, the, uh, Anita actually get uh, every version and every version was considered stable. Um, even if uh, there was um, uh, there was a method for the versioning to actually uh, actually uh, uh, mark the releases as pre-release or unstable, so it will be it uh, will add a new thing to the uh, to the message uh, that is emitted with the version, and there will be two uh, new arrays one will con uh, one will have the new version the stable version and one will have the unstable versions uh, i plan to uh, add this to the new hotness to work with it and actually for those who are not interested only in stable versions to have option monitor only stable versions so you will have uh, you will not be bothered by some alpha beta or something like this um, yeah the next one is to fix for the github issue where there is no new version on the github again it's considered as error um, this is actually pretty bad because uh, it uh, was introduced with the cursors uh, because the cursors is actually uh, marking uh, the, the tag and we are only receiving uh, what is uh, at after the tag and if we don't receive anything we just uh, consider it that we have weren't successful to retrieve the versions at all so yet yeah, uh, this was an issue and uh, it's currently why we uh, uh, we disabled the uh, automatic deletion of projects. Uh, what's left for the milestone 1.0 is to report multiple versions at once and remove fed message, fed message uh, related things and add preview mode, which will allow you to change to uh, to try your things, your changes before uh, saving it and. Uh, just uh, doing the check in the actual database i hope this will be uh, this will not be that hard to implement okay next slide the new hotness the new hotness is floating island in the realm of magic it's actually the nice island it doesn't uh, have to it uh, not that robust as anitya but it still does it uh, does what uh, needs to be done okay some uh, quickly some statistics there were three new releases uh, 44 commits from seven different contributors uh, 10 issues created because most of the issue for the new hotness is actually uh, is actually open at uh, in the anitya because uh, it's release monitoring.org and uh, there is uh, not much people that know that there is a new hotness in the back of it uh, we closed 22, which is uh, nice because we are actually uh, closing the backlog. And the current version is uh, 0, 0, 0.313.0. Uh, okay. New things. Monitoring status retrieve activity from this kit. So you could now configure in the source fedoraproject.org. Uh, for the package if you want to uh, be monitored or not and uh, new hotness is taking this uh, directly from Pagur. Um, refactor config to use centralized defaults these were more a uh, refactoring thing uh, when we wanted to have uh, configuration on one place and not uh, in every uh, script not every source code and plenty of bug fixes there weren't new that new features because uh, the new hotness is actually pretty simple. Okay. Okay. So, current situation. Uh, I'm trying to create a milestone 1.0, same as for uh, Anitya. Uh, what is done? I added token crier to generate uh, change logs more easily and uh, automatically. Uh, there was one issue when the loading sources, which was not uh, like, uh, which 
didn't break the new hotness, but uh, it was an issue. Uh, what's left? Uh, what I want to have in 1.0 is to file PR instead of attaching patch to Bugzilla. It will file PR directly uh, against the uh, source repo. This is done by the Ogre, uh, which is uh, the library that the packet project is using. Uh, because there is no staging environment right now, I can't work on it anymore because it needs uh, to have access to testing Bugzilla and uh, the disk kit and other things. So it's not that easy to test. Um, I want to have uh, hash value locked when error happens during the comparing of sources because uh, it uh, will at least say if the sources are not the same or uh, we had some issue that uh, was uh, that could be solved by this if this was in the in the actual lock uh, refactoring of sorts using clean architecture design this is something i want to personally have inside um, and and the clean uh, the clean architecture should uh, make the new hotness much more maintainable, and it's small up a small project to actually work with it. I have a design created for it, uh, design document, but uh, didn't uh, do any work on actual uh, refactoring. Uh, Working with uh, Fedora messages containing multiple releases, this is uh, the same as I um, talked about the stable and unstable releases for the uh, for the, uh, Anita. So it will actually work with uh, more versions at once discovered by Anita, and uh, it will not just uh, it will not just work with the latest. Uh, there are some pro projects that uh, want to uh, want to have uh, uh, even the old versions because if there are uh, if there are uh, streams like uh, four point or four uh, or three point and you got uh, version three point something, it's actually not emitted by Anita because uh, it is considered old version. Uh, we or it's uh, it's emit yeah it's emitted by Anitya. If there is no non uh, newer no newer version, uh, but the new hotness is uh, skipping this because it's older than the v what we have in uh, in your repositories, which is not good for some projects. Um, and the uh, last thing is handle temporary errors more gracefully. Right now, the uh, new hotness is running in OpenShift and every time, uh, every time we had uh, a temporary error, which is uh, Bugzilla is not reachable or something like this, we crash and just uh, start it again, which is not really great. And I want to handle it more, more gracefully and just unacknowledge the message and uh, could uh, and do it uh, do the same again later okay so we are at the end so I hope you liked the, uh, the presentation and do you have any questions I don't see anything in chat Uh, Luna, uh, I see that. Uh, yeah, I actually had uh, this talk at the at the last vlog, so I trying to talk about it more. Uh, integration with Bucket. I will use part of the Bucket, uh, but uh, it is only only the Ogre library. Uh, I have some vision in the future, which I'm not sure if ever be true, is making the Anitya part of the uh, part of the package workflow. So uh, 
if you create a new package in uh, Fedora, you will actually get automatically project in Anitia that will take care of fetching for new version. Uh, not about, not any application with packet, but could be at least we will uh, create a patch for the for the project and uh, create a PR on the source git. So I think it will be at least easier for everyone. Oh, okay. The zero zeros at the start are because when I took over it, it was zero point something, and I just uh, uh, I just did the same for the <laughs> for the time being and uh, decided uh, uh, decided few the months ago that we should that I should actually cre create one point zero because. I think the project is mature enough. I see your time is uh, is full, so yeah, we don't we don't have much uh, much time. So thanks everyone for for attending, uh, and I will go for another talk that I want to see. <laughs>